are joining us. Yeah, are joining us right now. <laughs> Let's welcome in the head coach of the Mustangs, <laughs> Coach <laughs> Kathy Raley, <laughs> now joins us. Oh after, shoot! I was being so nice about uh, you too. Stevenson Falls, 10-6-11 on Valley. Coach, uh, a game in which just didn't seem to get going, and then when you finally did, they they really kind of pulled away kind of early in that first half. What went wrong tonight? Oh, what didn't go wrong tonight? Um, you know, I think there were a couple things. I thought that we, we went in with a, a specific game plan. And when you have a young group, you have this game plan, like you're going to do this on number whatever, and you're going to do this, on that they get so focused in on what their role is on an individual defender that they don't play team good team defense. Mm-hmm. Now, we went back in and played good team defense, and you know, there, there was only three more goals in the second half. My concern is not defense for this. My concern is mm-hmm. absolutely we are catching the ball, and we are not going to goal. We are not catching on the move. We are not catching and being a threat. We are catching and saying, who can I give this to that will go to goal? And that can't be the attitude. And I have you know, so many players down there that, that driving is the second thing they think about instead of the first thing that they think about. So that was the conversation we had <laughs> in the locker room. <laughs> and I'm sure you said it just like that. It was really I did. Nice. It was very monotonal. It was very um, <laughs> no no subjectivity. When we get your player yes. here, we'll ask her. Yeah, she'll tell you that. She'll tell you that. I pay them off before we bring them up here. Yes. There were two yes. really interesting things that we kind of don't have an answer for that mm-hmm. happened in this game tonight. One was the Jamie Bittner second card. Absolute slash. No, as soon as when she okay, so one of the things when you card when you get a card, the official has eyes on you because you did it was a, 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 a violent type play, and she did. That was absolutely a card. That first one's absolutely a card. The second one, she swiped from behind the girl, and they're, they're going to call that in a 50 50 day. Yes. You just had a card two seconds ago. Mm-hmm. You run back out, and then that very next play, you do a slash, and it was a slash. Now, you can't do that. You've got it. You you have to. Re- one card means I'm really not even checking. Like checking is off the table for me. Good body positioning is on the table. Trying to draw f- maybe the charge is on the table. But checking is off the table when you're that kind of player. And and I'm hoping that that Jamie. It's a lesson learned for Jamie because that double yellow card is going to tarnish her. You know, really great year of defense, and yeah. and I and I feel bad for her. I I know what how down the line that's going to impact individual awards, and and I, I just I hope that she learned her lesson and that doesn't happen again. Well, I'm sure she did. Yeah. She's a smart yes. young lady. What was question two? The other thing mm-hmm. that was really interesting that I've never seen happen in a game is zero free position shots scored. Zero. Uh, we struggle with a goalie with a high arc, and. Um, we knew exactly where not to shoot on this goalie, and we continued to shoot right at her feet where we know, we not really knew not to shoot there. Mm-hmm. She's got quick feet. She doesn't move her stick, but she's got very quick feet. Um, when we're in close, what I tend to see is our girls will um, – kind of get panicky and it's because of the youth they're not comfortable moving through traffic and catching and then turning and seeing this goalie has a high arc this is the second time we've had a goalie with a high arc that we've struggled with we're going to have to make changes with that so we're going to take one of our goalies uh jess la rosa and we're going to turn her into a high arc goalie over these next two weeks so that in practice we're really seeing a goalie come flying out at us so we won't be in a panic in the game um but you know messiah had the same thing these goalies, it's not like their stick moves fast, but their arcs are good, and they're way up to the top of that goal crease. And we, it kind of, you feel rushed as a shooter when you see that instead of driving past and hitting the wide open cage. Well, you combine that with uh, I think yeah. Eck number eleven, who had this, such great speed off the line every she time did. too, she and that did. really, really kind of made life yes. tough. Yes, yes. I just asked this hypothetically of mm-hmm. MC. I'm going to give this to you because you're actually in this position. Yeah. You have a heartbreaker over the weekend mm-hmm. against Messiah, and now kind of a really deflating loss here tonight. Yes. How do you pick these girls back up for the rest of the regular season, knowing you still have every ability to get into the tournament and everything's still mm-hmm. in front of you? Well, we know what we have to do, and we haven't yet to see a team um, that we can't beat come May 5th or 6th or whatever that date is. So I think that there are five teams that really have elevated themselves, and you know, Lebanon Valley, Albright, Messiah, I'd even say Lycoming and us. So it doesn't matter who's the best today. It matters who's the best 
come playoff week. So our focus continues to be how are we going to be better when it comes to that. We know what we need to do. We just have to practice it. Yeah. Um, and some days we do when you have a young group like we do. And some days you do and you do really well and you score 22 goals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't and you score shoot 24 times and score six goals. Today, you know, we outshot them. We had more draws than they did. We had, you know, we out statistically played them today, but it didn't show on the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Their shots went in, ours did not. Coach, best of luck this Great, weekend. We'll you. talk to you next thank Wednesday. You. She's Coach Kathy Raley.